think when you look at uh, uh, the, the attitude that Obama's response embodied, it was uh, a clear example of the disdain for underlying military power that gives our diplomacy uh, added clout. Uh, I think we've got to restore these cuts. Uh, I don't really, um, doesn't much matter to me what uh, budgets of some other countries are, although many of our potential adversaries are uh, rising and rising significantly. Uh, because my point is, I don't ever want America to be in a fair fight again. I still believe in full-spectrum dominance, and uh, I think that's what we ought to be aspiring to. Instead, we're going in exactly the opposite direction. Uh, and let's look at how this has played out uh, in the first four years and how it might play out in the second. Let's just take Russia. Th this is a practically a laboratory experiment in how to go wrong. The Obama administration came in saying, our relations with Russia are terrible, uh, implying it was our fault. And remember, they were going to press the reset button, famous reset button, which they, uh, Hillary Clinton handed to Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister. And he, and I've known Lavrov for 20 years, as only he could do, he looked at it and said, the Russian word on the button box was the wrong word which he said to Hillary Clinton in public. So much for the reset button's optics, and it got worse after that. We abandoned uh, uh, capabilities for national missile defense in Poland and the Czech Republic. We gave the Russians uh, a very ill-advised uh, arms control agreement, the New START agreement. We gave them uh, space in a variety of uh, other areas in uh, their former territories. Uh, and what did we get in response? We got three vetoes by Russia of sanctions against the Assad regime in Syria. We got Russia flying political cover for the Iranian nuclear weapons program. Uh, we got essentially no cooperation uh, from Russia at all. And, and just to add to the cheekiness of it, the Russians declared a few weeks ago that the reset button had been a complete failure. Well, from my point of view, it certainly has been, but it really takes gall uh, for the Russians to say it's been a failure from their point of view. So I think the, uh, the direction in the next four years vis-a-vis -vis Russia uh, is going to be to make even more concessions. I mean, if you make a raft of concessions as part of a reset policy and you don't get good relations, uh, what do you think the inclination of the Obama administration is going to be? To get tougher? Don't hold your breath. Let's take China. Uh, this is a uh, critically important issue for, for the United States, for Europe. Uh, President Obama himself has said that he wants to pivot away from the Middle East toward uh, Asia. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't take that, by the way, as a serious statement. You know, number one, we're a great power. We don't have to pivot from one region of the world to another, uh, except under his administration. Uh, and we're not going to pivot away from the Middle East anyway, as I will explain in a few minutes. But, uh, but, but Obama at least says he's interested in Asia. Grew up in Hawaii, why not? Uh, <laughs> and, and what have we done with respect to China? We have no strategy at all. Uh, as China has used its uh, extraordinary economic growth to enhance and modernize its conventional weapons capabilities, uh, to expand uh, its uh, arsenal of ballistic missiles and nuclear weapons many times over, to uh, create area denial uh, and anti-access capabilities intended to push the ever-shrinking American Navy back from the western coast of the Pacific, uh, to creating what is I think most would agree the world's uh, most intensive and, and most sophisticated cyber warfare capability, uh, and to make assertive, uh, even aggressive territorial claims in the South China Sea and the East uh, China Sea to the detriment of the countries of Southeast Asia and Japan. And what has our response been? Almost nothing. Uh, th this is a uh, circumstance where uh, I think there's a lot of exaggeration about uh, what China's impact on world affairs is going to be over the next couple of decades. Uh, I, for one, don't buy their economic statistics, but even if I thought their economy were growing at 
the rate they say it is, their ability to project power is still considerably less uh, than, it, than, than it could be. And it is in precisely that period of time where China's neighbors feel uh, most vulnerable and most in need of assistance. And yet uh, we are essentially uh, absent uh, from, that, uh, uh, from, from, from that larger uh, question of the increase of Chinese uh, authority. Uh, let's turn to the Middle East that the president wants to pivot away from. Good luck with that. You know, the president said two years ago that uh, the Arab Spring would be the answer to terrorism, to the threat of al-Qaeda. Uh, may maybe he believed it at the time. Uh, maybe he's, maybe he's, uh, uh, he's wised up a little bit. Uh, but fundamentally, the whole attitude about the threat of international terrorism has been something that the administration has tried to ignore. Uh, even to exclude the word terrorism from some of our public statements to, call, to talk about man-caused disasters. Think about that one for a while. Now, the president's answer to all of this is we killed Osama bin Laden. Uh, and indeed, that's true, and thank goodness for it. But it's really uh, extraordinary for the president uh, to claim credit for more than the decision to authorize the raid uh, against the compound outside of Islamabad that killed uh, Osama bin Laden, a decision which 99.99% of the American population would have agreed with.